All right, we're going to continue again here. I've got my reader kind of attached to it with uh, some Velcro. There are brackets to actually hard connect these things, but uh, I don't have one. Anyway, I'm in the same position here. I found my reader. It's connected. I put in a um, barcode or the value of the tag I'm looking for, and I said a few matching tags. So it should be able to find both of the tags that I've got. So let's just look in here and see if it's in here. And what I see is scanning. I release the trigger. It'll tell me to pull the trigger again, but I'm not getting any any indication that a tag is here. So I'm just going to keep walking around in my office and I'll pull the trigger as I enter a new zone. Now here, I have another package of tags and I still have nothing there. Here I have thousands of tags. This is a supply shelf that we have with um, new RFID tags. They still have values. Um, so if I was in inventory mode, I'd see a flood of values, but the tag I'm looking for is not here. So we'll keep looking, walk back out. Oh, we could go uh, here. Oops, oops, I'm starting to get something. Now that's interesting, right? I got something as I got close here. I'm gonna zero in on it by standing still and seeing what direction might be the best to go in. And then walk in that direction. Sorry for the glare. Right? There's my tag, but you know what? That is the new tag. So here, I'm gonna take this thing out of the equation. I'll stick it in my back pocket. Human bodies are big bags of water, and therefore we absorb RF energy, and it shouldn't be able to find that. So I'm gonna walk back out here, and we'll try it again. Now, I've got one other tag that should be registering. Ooh, look at that. Now, is that... Is that from behind me in my back pocket? Let's see. Yep, it is. <laughs> but if I hold this in front of me, using my body more as a shield, I'm in the same position I was before, and I've got my tag here, but I'm not really getting a read, right? So let's keep walking closer. Starting to get something now. And there, there we have our other tag. You see that? It never really gets up to that full strength value that the other one did. But you do notice that a previous generation tag is not going to read as far away as the new generation tag. All right, well, that's the experience. Just recognize that if you are using Tag Finder programs that... They're not perfect, and they do have a limitation of you have to be within the read range of that tag. And if that tag is a good tag, maybe it might be 10 feet. And if it's an average to poor tag, it might be a foot. 